Did you know that just by changing your makeup, you can go from looking like this to looking like this? Well, the secret here is really knowing your color season. And if you're on this video, it's likely that you already know that you're part of the spring family. Whether you're a bright spring, a true spring, or a light spring, knowing your color season is going to give you the best guidance for choosing makeup shades that are going to elevate your personal image and make you look radiant and glowing. So in today's video, if you want to find out my top tips and tricks for finding out the best makeup for you, if you're a spring, then make sure to keep on watching and of course, as always, watch until the end. Hey guys, for those of you who don't already know me, I'm Bella, a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome to my channel, Concept3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I am going to give my best makeup for the spring color season. So this being said, I want to go ahead and get started with the first category of the spring season, which is bright spring. And before I go ahead and get into the best makeup, I wanna take a moment and thank the sponsor for today's video, which is Merit Beauty, which I absolutely adore. I use their products on a day-to-day -day basis and I swear by them. And you definitely wanna learn about this brand if you have not already heard about it. And especially since we're talking about the best makeup for spring, I'm going to give you guys some great suggestions that they have on their website. Merit Beauty is a makeup brand with the core notion that less is more. They pride themselves on having minimalistic, high quality products that are free of toxins, vegan, cruelty free, and made with recyclable packaging. All orders over $50 ship free and your first orders ship with their very own signature bag, which is super convenient. I use this to put my makeup in and travel with, so it's definitely a plus. So if you haven't already checked out Merit Beauty, make sure to go visit their website through the link in the description below. Getting back into the video, let's go ahead and talk about Bright Spring. Bright Spring is one of the color seasons in the spring category that sits between Bright Winter and True Spring on the color wheel, making it the brightest and most vibrant color season among the spring category. Some celebrities who are a bright spring include Adriana Lima, Emma Stone, and Heather Graham. So now knowing this, let's go ahead and take a look at your best foundation and concealer shades. When choosing the best foundation for a bright spring, or no matter your skin tone, you want to avoid matte finishes and instead go for natural dewy finishes. In addition, for coloring, you want to avoid any cool blue-based foundations and instead opt for more peachy, warm shades. Moving on to lip colors, since you are the most bright and intense of the spring season, you can definitely get away with very bright, intense shades. So maybe try a peach or coral, anything that's really going to pop. And in addition, you just wanna make sure to avoid matte finishes and super dark, cool colors because it's gonna take away from your naturally bright appearance. Now, if you're wondering what your best eyeshadow shades are, for highlights, you want to go for bright and vibrant colors. So blues, purples, and pinks are a great option. If you wanna find a neutral, creams, champagnes, and taupes will be an awesome option for you. Moving on to blush, I really would recommend avoiding any cool blue-based colors and any colors that are too dark or dusty because it's not gonna bring out your best features. Instead, I would go for peach or coral colors, anything that is vibrant that's going to make you shine. Now for the best bronzers and highlighters, my rule of thumb is to use a highlighter to add accents. And when thinking about shades, try anything that's peachy or yellow based and avoid anything that is muddy and gray because it's going to really dull out your appearance. And now last but not least, eyeliner and mascara. You can get away with dark grays and a true black, which is very classic because of the intensity of your features. And if you wanna go for any sort of brighter colors, you can go for greens, blues, and purples. Just make sure to keep it vibrant and not to do anything too dull or too cool. So these are my makeup recommendations if you are a bright spring. This being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next subcategory of spring, which is true spring. 
So the true spring subcategory sits on the color wheel between bright spring and light spring, making it the absolute essence of what it means to be a spring color season. Some notable celebrities who have this color season include Blake Lively, Leslie Mann, and Hayden Panettiere. Now if you're wondering what your best foundation shades are, it's going to be a little bit similar to Bright Winter, but a little bit more subdued. So let's go ahead and see what the options are. Now for foundation, you want to avoid matte and heavy finishes, and instead go for dewy, natural, creamy, radiant, or sheer finishes. Avoid any blue-based and pink-based foundations because your complexion is naturally a bit more warm-leaning. Next, when it comes to lip colors, I would go for warm colors with a medium intensity and that are not too dark. You can go bright, but not quite as bright as the Bright Spring. In addition, I would avoid any matte colors or any colors that are too cool. For eyeshadow, as with lip colors, I would avoid anything that is too matte and instead opt for something with a creamy texture or a shimmery finish. Now for the coloring, I would opt for brighter, more vibrant colors, but then again, similar to the lip color, I wouldn't go too bright. Now for blush, you can definitely try some shimmery finishes and avoid more of the matte finishes, and anything that is peach-based would look amazing, and for darker skin, you can go for a light cocoa shade. When choosing eyeliner or mascara, I would avoid the classic black and instead opt for a dark or warm brown. When choosing eyeliner, a good option would be to choose a color similar to your eyes to really bring them out and make them pop. And lastly, when choosing bronzer or highlighter, I would go for a peachy or golden color and I would choose highlighting over contouring because contouring is going to be a bit too heavy and intense for your naturally lighter features. This being said, let's move on to the last subcategory, which is light spring. So light spring sits on the color wheel between true spring and light summer, making it the lightest of the spring subcategories and it makes it very delicate. Some celebrities who are this color season include Taylor Swift, Amanda Seyfried, and Nicole Kidman. When choosing foundations, you really have to follow a very few rules. So for light spring, you definitely want to go for your yellow base shades and avoid anything that is too cool. In addition, I would go for lightweight foundations with very little coverage and that have a dewy finish. Now when it comes to lip colors, you should go for glosses or lip stains which are going to suit your appearance a little bit better. I would avoid anything that is bright or too dark and deep and rich in color. Instead, try creamy, sheer pinks, peaches, and corals. Now for eyeshadow, you can really have a lot of fun. These beautiful, gentle, pastel colors are going to suit you great because they have a yellow undertone. So you can try pinks, peaches, greens, and blues, and anything that's creamy or sheer is going to look amazing on you. Just make sure to avoid anything that is too bright or too cool. Moving on to blush, I would go for anything that is peachy or pink with coral shades. Yellow based blushes are going to be your best option and avoid anything that has a blue base to the blush. And in addition, if you want to add a slight shimmer, that's going to look really beautiful and shiny. Now if you're wondering what eyeliner and mascara you should use because you have a very delicate coloring, I would try and avoid anything that is a harsh black and instead go for a dark brown or a caster gray. And you can also have a lot of fun with a lot of colorful options. Now lastly, for bronzer, my key rule here is to not over apply because you have a very delicate complexion and it tends to be on the fairer side. If you're going for a bronzer, I would opt for something that is a bit lighter with a peachy undertone. So these are a lot of really great options for makeup if you happen to be a light spring. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below whether you happen to be a light spring, a bright spring, or a true spring. I'm curious to know. I happen to be a bright spring. And also, if you like this video, please make sure to go ahead and tap the like button so that it helps other people as well. And if you're not already part of the channel, part of the Level Up group that we have here, 
please click the subscribe button and then also click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I make videos weekly on fashion, image, and transformation, and I would absolutely love to have you here with me. This being said, I hope everyone has a happy holidays, a very happy new year, have fun, stay safe, and of course, as always, stay leveled up. I will see you in my next video. Bye.